Hey everyone, welcome back. I wanted to do a shameless plug about my drum sample pack that is available on my website, kylewmay.com. Um, last week I did a video about how to record drums from home for under a thousand dollars and I ended up with a pretty good ending product but it took a lot of manipulation of the tracks and took a lot of time so I wanted to show you how easy it is to use my samples to drop into your session using Steven Slate Trigger to just quickly get a great sounding drum mix. So if we look in Pro Tools, I've got this track that I recorded using the cheaper setup, um, and here's what that sounds like. So it sounds all right, but what I'm going to show you is how to use this plugin to start quickly replacing the tracks with samples. So I'm going to pull up the Trigger 2 plugin on the kick track. And under settings is where you're going to select where you downloaded my sample pack. So for example, if you downloaded the Mega Bundle, you could just put that on your desktop or on your samples hard drive or wherever. So you just need to select where that's located and then it'll show up in your browser. So since I'm on the kick, I'm gonna to go to the Gretsch Broadcaster, go to Trigger Presets, load the kick preset, and see what that sounds like. Okay, that already sounds so much better. So I'm gonna do the same thing here for the snare bus. I'm just gonna copy and paste. And I'm gonna to go to my browser. For this particular recording, I was using the Ludwig Black Beauty. So I'm gonna select the solid Black Beauty trigger preset. See where this lands. Uh, so that sounds really good to me. Um, I am just missing a little bit of the detail from the ghost notes, so I'm going to lower this detail, and then I'm going to boost the sensitivity so it can start grabbing some of the ghost notes that I was playing live. Um, another trick you can use is using the mix knob, you can just mix in a blend of the sample with your original snare, but I'm going to try and accomplish this without using the blend knob. So I feel like we're close. Um, I would like those ghost notes to just speak a little bit louder. So what I'm gonna go down here and do is for the velocity range, I'm gonna actually boost it up so that way it's not using samples that were recorded in the lowest velocity. I want it to maybe draw from velocity two or three instead of velocity one. Cool, so that sounds a lot better to me. Let's hear it in the mix. Okay, great. So the next drum is the Rack Tom. I'm gonna pull up Trigger 2, and then I'm gonna load Gretsch Broadcaster, Trigger Presets, go to the Rack Tom preset, and hear what that sounds like. Yeah, that's much better already. I think the level is just a little hot, so I'll bring that down, and now I'm gonna copy and paste over to the Floor Tom, but I need to go to the browser and make sure I have the Floor Tom Trigger Preset selected. Let's hear what that sounds like. Yes, so much better. Let's hear what it sounds like later in the song. Yeah, and I love that I'm still hearing some of these uh, smaller ghost notes in the snare drum on this fill. Yeah. 
Yeah, and I think the floor tom is just a little hot for my liking, so I'm gonna lower that down. But all in all, I think this sounds great, and it took me so much less time than actually going in here and carving out every single frequency and working on these tracks. Um, this is just a great way to get started on your mix. Um, if you just need to pump out a mix really quickly, Trigger plus my samples are a great way to do so. So let's have a listen to the final product. Awesome. Well, thanks so much for watching. I'll see you in the next video.